All right, so for this hole, pretty straightforward. Got to start off at the end down there, blind putt, kind of make a lightning bolt zigzag shape down to the hole right here. You can give it some. I don't know how much those boxes are going to absorb it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you did at least get lined up almost perfectly, though. I'll take it. That looks so much smaller when you look at it from yeah. down here. Yay. That do decent? Yeah, a little. Third. Oh! Hey, look, you're with me. There goes my golf ball. Oh. You know what that would have been the equivalent of? That'd been the equivalent of a ring. <laughs> wow. Okay. So next up now, again, back in the dining room area, you have to put it down past the couch. You have to bank it off the wall, send it back. The hole is right here. And yes, there's a lot of ways this could go wrong that I'm trying to figure out as we go. Not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting it to bounce more than that. Four. <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked. Thought it was going under the table. I literally, before we started filming this hole, I checked that to make sure just in case. Because if it did, we'd be in a lot of like struggle trying to get that out. Oh, very close. Can you get it through or do we need to turn it? I'm gonna do it. Personal. You want to talk about that? It was personal. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, the club can fit under this table. I'm trying not to hit it. Darn it. A three and a five, but at least we ain't gonna talk about that. We'll move on. It was personal. <laughs> All right, so for the next hole, we're starting off chilling by the plushies. You know how we do. You gotta put it up the ramp, across the coffee table, you have the option if it's slow enough and it stays straight because all the pieces of wood on this are not level. You guys can kind of see how jagged off it is. So it could roll anywhere. If you manage to get to fall in there, hole in one. As long as it touches the bottom, if it bounces out, it still counts. If it falls off anywhere or misses off the end, have to go for the regular hole. You could still just try to hit it hard and go straight for it. That's just like a safer option if you want to go light. So if you want to risk the biscuit, really either way, you've got options. Ooh. I'm rolling. Oh, you were actually very. Ooh. Wow. Okay. You were very close to this one, too. Like within a few inches, but that I'm is perfect. a great spot. That's not going to go in. Oh! oh. No! Wow. So close. That's the closest we've gotten on any hole so far. Here, I was going to tap mine in. Go heat. I'm going to even move the box, and I hope I don't regret that. Yeah. Look at that, we both did it. Ow! Good job, did you get paper cut? <laughs> no, I just smacked my foot with the club. Oh, that thing's heavy too. Oh. Okay, so for this hole, I'm calling this one Plushy Alley. <laughs> it's a straight shot. If you can get down there and the ball not roll off, but if it does, you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting it back. Oh, off of Dumbo's foot too. Sorry, Dumbo. That's a good spot. This gap looks a lot wider on camera than it actually is. Yeah. Oh, off yours. Oh, yeah, you lined me though. I did line you up and mine almost went in with it. Yeah, I managed to perfectly line you up. There we go. I can't really fully angle this without it like basically putting my ball in there already off the wall. So let's do it like this. Cool. I'm really glad neither one of us got stuck in that. So next up, we're gonna have a little under the table corner ride all the way around to the hole right there. So we're gonna start right here, kind of where the line for the couch runs right here. You gotta put it under the chair, under the table, so it's kind of difficult to see. And then if you hit it just right, it might be able to ride off of that suitcase, off of that bin, off of the light box, straight into the hole. And obviously if it goes past it, this will stop it. It'll be out of bounds past that, but it shouldn't. We'll just say if it goes past the little holes in the side, Let's put it back in, it won't count. 
And if you obviously roll past it, we'll turn the hole in relation to where the ball is. But you might be able to get it to roll all the way around. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. The thing that makes it difficult is because of the chair and the table, you can't really see where the suitcase is exactly the angle for it to know where the best place is to aim, just other than going straight. So this might just bounce right back. I have no idea. Well, me. I tried. <laughs> so you hit the Tupperware, like, rubber plastic bin. No, I can not see. I think that's what I might have hit, too. I'm not sure. I wish, because people tagged me in it on Facebook, I wish we had, there's these, like, plastic vents that you can stick into the ground if you have floor vents that basically creates a mini golf, like, golf hole in your air vent. Unfortunately, my apartment, all of ours are in the ceiling, so we can't really do that. <laughs> Unless we can turn gravity off, which would be... Even more cool. Unfortunately, we can't do that. So that's the reason why we're having to use the tissue box and kind of make it work for ours. I got it too. Yeah. Now you can ride it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, for this one, we've got a kind of a blind U-turn going on. So you got to start over here in the kitchen, hit the cardboard hopefully ride all the way around and then there's a chance you could maybe get lucky and it gets a good bounce off the suitcase towards the hole we will see how this goes that works you i think you can clear the corner oh. you might be able to clear the corner of the couch i'm gonna try to give it a little bit more so maybe it has some speed to get around oh oh you got around. it did exactly what i was hoping for when i was like building this out. I just didn't put the hole in the right spot for me. Wow, what a putt. Very nice. Da. Oh, well, I moved the hole a little bit, but I'll make it work. That was a great two. That was good. Good job. All right, for this one, we're going for a ricochet. So we're putting purposely far enough back that you can't straight shot this. You have to either bounce off the island or one of the bins down there. The hole is kind of in its own no man's land, angled in a way that's incentivizing you to bounce it off of the island. So we'll see how this goes. Not bad. That's good. Ooh, no wow. way! Let's go, cool. There we go. All right, so the way this one's gonna work is we have to start basically back there where the light wire is hanging, put it all the way down underneath this little coffee table or end table right here. You gotta get it underneath it. You can't go around, you gotta go underneath and you have to hit it with just enough speed because the hole is right behind it. So if you hit too hard, it's going sailing unless you manage to get lucky and just clip the corners of it and slows the ball down. Okay, trying to line this up as much as I can before I go. Ooh. You hit that. I hit it. I'll say that's kind of like if you hit the hole and kind of ringed around it. But we also made it purposely where the hole isn't perfectly centered with the table. So you can't just look at the table and be like, oh, aim for the middle. Don't work like that. Sweet. Oh, around the side. There we go. So now for this hole, the way we're going to do this one is kind of like a putt-putt style hole where it's a straight shot from Alicia to myself this way, but you want to try to hit the triangle, this is kind of a makeshift triangle, bank it off, hole's right there. If you come too far and you come to me for some reason, you'll have to putt it back, hit this one, and then send it over. Luckily, the triangles are much bigger here than most putt-putt courses, so you have a much bigger target. The one place I didn't think the golf, the golf balls were going to go. We'll make that work. The other thing I thought as soon as we started to putt was, what happens if it goes down there? I do good? You're not over where I am. Okay. I think though, if we move the light and stuff, I think you can still, you might be able to clear the corner of the wall. So it might work. You might be able to clear the wall. I think you can. There we go. <laughs> I'm so in silent. <laughs> oh. Pin there. 
There we go. Three's for us both. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed Homemade Mini Golf Part 2. Again, if you have any suggestions or any whole ideas, let us know them in the comment section down below. But either way, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you all very soon in the next one. Later.